guys, Dave Mosher here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up for that site. If you're on iTunes, welcome. You can get to my blog, Space Disco. That's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. And that will give you a whole bunch of links I'm pointing out in this video. If you're on uh, YouTube, look to your right, more info button. Take you right there. Uh, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. In the past, I've just kind of willy-nilly thrown these cool space items out at you. I'm just going to pick three from now on. So these are the three coolest, biggest things that happened in space last week that you need to know this week to be cool. Um, that being said, first thing right off the bat, it concerns the stimulus bill. Uh, Barack Obama and his cabinet put this thing together, $920 billion to stimulate a really sagging U.S. economy and, in fact, world economy. A big part of that was science. Now, a bipartisan group of senators got together, meaning you know, Democrat and Republican, and they decided, oh, let's just, uh, let's just cut a bunch of that science out because we don't really need it. In fact, more than $8.5 billion was cut out. Um, Thankfully, by the end of this week, uh, in fact, uh, Sunday, a lot of that funding was restored, so that's a good thing. But uh, NASA, National Science Foundation, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, uh, Department of Energy, those are all agencies that are still suffering. They could really use some extra cash, cash money for their budgets. Uh, this stimulus bill would be additional to that. So let's hope that they get it, because then you can hear about more cool science that's going on. Next thing I want to tell you about is uh, this galaxy right here. Look at this thing. Hubble captured this thing from 320 million light years away. In fact, I was going to show you a video on a little uh, photo viewer thing, but it's not working. So I'm just going to put it up. I'm going to break my little paper law here and uh, show you a video. So here you go. This is the galaxy. Uh, actually, we're not there yet. We're zooming in uh, 320 million light years away. This is in the Coma Cluster, by the way, which is in, uh, it's just in the constellation. And this was taken with 80 different exposures by Hubble. That's more than 27 hours of uh, film that it had to, to take to make this happen. You can see all kinds of dwarf galaxies and other cool stars in the background. So this is pretty amazing. And now we're zooming into the bands of gas. So there you go. That was the video. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, the last thing I've got to tell you guys about, this is amazing. Now there's a spacecraft called Karat, okay? And this thing looks for stars that have planets moving in front of them. So as the, as the, the planet goes around, it'll block out just a little bit of the starlight, and then it can pick that up and tell you what kind of planet is there, uh, what its orbit is, how big it is, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, check this out. Look at this thing. So this is the moon, and this is the Earth, and this is a brand new planet they found. They call it Karat X07b. Uh, this is not what it looks like, actually. This is just my sort of impression of that. Anyway, they found this thing. It's 456 light years away. It has an orbit of 20 hours. Okay, so the Earth takes 365 days to go around the Sun. This thing takes 20 hours. So it's incredibly close to the, its, its parent star. 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, scorching hot. But the cool part is, here it is again, it's either molten lava all on the surface, and or has scorching steam all over the place because the way they uh, the data they looked at it suggests that okay half this planet is rock and half of it is water they're not sure about that yet but that's still pretty cool to think about that a planet that the smallest one we found actually you know just a little bit under twice the size of Earth in diameter has tons of water on it so that's a really really interesting finding and we'll probably hear more about that in the future so there you go that's your wrap up for the site and thanks for tuning in.